if you want to transfer bunch of videos or any large video from your android phone to your ipad using cables i am going to show you the best method to do this process we just need two things first thing if your android phone charging port was usb c you need this usb c to hdmi adapter for me, I am using Amazon Basics. You can use any brand. It is just $5 but works fine. In case your Android phone charging port was micro USB, you need this micro USB OTG. You can also use the USB-C OTG for USB-C mobiles. But if you want to transfer more than 100 gigabytes of videos, we need external power supply, I mean charger supply. So in that case we need this adapter. So for micro USB you can use this. Then second thing you need a storage device. You can simply use this SD card on the SD card reader. So you just need to connect and use it. You can use that it's like two dollars I think. Or or external hard drive you can use the ssd also so it doesn't matter for me i am using wd 2 terabyte hard disk and finally take your usb c charger so that's it let's see the connection my android phone charging port was usb c so i am going to use this usb c to hdmi adapter you can use this also if you want to transfer uh, large uh, videos, I mean large storage of videos, I would suggest you to use this because of the power supply. So your phone battery may drain. So in that case, we need the external power supply to continue the operation. So it will be more helpful. Then second, I'm going to use this hard drive to transfer files. Let's see. So first connect to your hard drive on this HDMI port, USB port. So just connect and grab your Android phone and just directly connect to the charging port. Swipe down. If you doesn't see any pop-up, open settings and click on settings and type OTG. Open this and turn on this. Yeah, here you can see the OTG which is 1.95 terabytes. So it's connected. Here you can see the light indication. Same goes with the OTG also. If you connect directly, it will work. In case if you want to transfer large videos, I mean file size, you just need to connect to a charger to the power supply and just take this HDMI adapter and connect this to the charging port it's a USB-C so now you can see the mobile was charging at the same time you can transfer the videos let's see I just open the device storage and DCAM and I just select these videos Okay, I just select on the video, then click this more option and copy, then select your external hard drive and create a new folder and just type Android videos, okay, and just have paste, so it is done, it is pasted. Now turn off this OTG. Now disconnect this. Now grab your iPad and just connect this old setup to your iPad. You can see the light indication, so it's connected. Open files. 
yeah here you can see the untitled which is my external hard drive so where is the folder android videos and boom that's it select select all you can use the more or more copy it items you can paste on the files app on my ipad just long press and paste and that's it it's moved now i just disconnect this so to disconnect this properly minimize this and close the result or turn off your ipad and disconnect the setup and that's it now i just open the files here you can see the videos if you want to transfer these videos to photos app just select share and click save then it will be stored on photos app just like that so this is it and for me it's usb c on my ipad if you have lightning ipad you just need this one more connector lightning to usb a plus usb c this is for auxiliary power supply you just need to take this connection same you just need to plug the power and another end or to the storage device and you just need to connect this to the type c i mean usb c and directly connect this in to your ipad i mean lightning ipad then open files then you can see the files on your ipad i will give all this product link amazon link in the description if you wish you can use that so this is the best way to transfer the videos large videos bunch of videos from android to your ipad without losing the original video quality so this is how we need to do and if you want to know more videos about these topics file transferring watch these videos